So, Dokkan version Z is on its way, and I just finished watching the live stream of the directors talking about what is going to be coming in these next few updates for version Z. So, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining all the information that I received. If I missed out on anything, leave it down in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. So, we're going to start things off with the new tutorial. Their goal for version Z is to make the game more fun for the experienced players as well as for newer players, emphasizing on the newer players for sure. So we're going to be getting a new tutorial, which will correspond with a new type of event called, I think it's, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's Dragon Ball Stories, where you relive the story of Dragon Ball Z, starting with the Saiyan Saga. So the footage that we got was like versing Nappa and versing Raditz. And within that, you have missions for that. So you have a new UI that will uh, correspond with DB stories. It's kind of like a new quest type of feature, but more on the original story of Dragon Ball. And you'll be able to get a new Goku that can awaken to an Ella with missions to correspond with DB stories. Other than the Goku, there are three other characters that you can recruit in this story event as of now. So as you saw from the little gameplay, we have the Piccolo at the very least, which is going to be tech. So more free to play characters, which I'm happy about. Hopefully they are good or, you know, become really good with if they have an LR awakening or TUR awakening or whatever. And Goku will have an active skill that is the Kaioken move versus the Nappa, which is cool. And it looks like the quest that you do within the Dragon Ball stories is set teams so you can't bring your own teams uh which is really cool for the immersion for the story now there isn't going to be new stages for quest or anything so no dragon stones from there but i'm assuming the db stories section will give you some decent amount of dragon stones speaking about dragon stones you're actually going to get a new purchasable pack if you haven't played the game for more than 100 hours so this pack will get you a new special stone like a turquoise stone that will allow you to purchase an LR from the barbershop. And of course, you'll get an abundance amount of dragon stones. Furthermore, we got some great quality of life changes. The biggest one is the hidden potential quality of life change. We can finally select every single node with one button, as long as you have enough orbs, of course, to fill out the orb potential system. That is beautiful. Probably one of the best features for me specifically. And there is a change on the Dragonstone pricing of changing a hidden potential of a character. Instead of 10 stones, you can, it only costs one stone to change the hidden potential system, which is very, very good, saving you a lot of Dragonstones in the long run. Now, there's also going to be a orb event that is weekly as well, and I assume this orb event is kind of like the milk carton training that we have on JP where you do one stage and you get these abundance of rewards. I'm assuming it's going to be the same with hidden potential orbs that will get you every single um, colored orb and all the different sizings in one singular stage. Instead of doing five different stages, you only have to do one. That's just my guess there. Leave it in the comment section if I'm wrong. Another big feature that is coming is the team selection. And so there's actually going to be no more team costs and you're able to get up to 50 decks, 50 different teams to select from so we are getting rid of like the seven slots that we have and no more team costs so you can run you know a full team of LRs instantly that's obviously for the newer players because that's like the biggest hurdle to deal with leveling up enough in order to get run those like full LR teams or like full Dokken confess teams in the early stages there's also going to be an auto team building feature. I don't know how useful that is going to be, but that is an option, I guess, for the earlier players, for those that don't know how to really team build as well. Also, the friend is highlighted in its own section, and within that section, you can see the skill orbs that they have on them, the hidden potential, and there's a quick change button. Instead of going backing out, you can quickly select uh, that, that uh, little you know, recycling button or whatever <laughs> to reselect your friend. And then another big feature that is going to be coming around is an auto feature. A lot of people have been asking this and it seems as though this is going to be crazy for the link levelers. This is probably still not enough for making me link level, but there are an auto map feature which will automatically go through the map themselves, which is cool. I wonder if that's going to happen with the world tournament or if the auto feature is for the world tournament as well. That'd be really interesting. Uh, and then the auto battle feature, which will 
obviously select the orbs for you to do the damage. Now, in order to unlock the auto battle, you just have to complete the super difficulty of the certain stage. And I believe you can do at least the state, uh, the difficulties before it. I'm not sure if you can do the hardest difficulty with the auto feature, but uh, I know for a fact that if you complete super, three you can do the uh, easier difficulties on auto uh in terms of the auto mapping feature it does prioritize on getting the most amount of key on the map so even though you might want you know the auto feature to do uh as much saber men on the field or whatever it's probably not going to be an option yet but i'm assuming they might add that in the future and then i think the last biggest thing that is coming for the game is a better awakening screen so for easy a's you know you have to train and awaken and go through all these different pages because you know you're leveling up you have to increase the sa you know awaken train awaken train now you can do it with the press of one button which is very nice as long as you have the materials for it um and then we've got a little version z campaign that will come around once this is released there is no real release date as of yet and we didn't get too much information about the version Z campaign. All we know is that there's going to be an orb campaign with it. So we might be getting a lot of orbs um, from this campaign. Uh, they also had a little Q&A section where they were getting a lot of feedback for the friend systems. So they're really looking to see what they can improve in the game, which is very good for the longevity of the game. Dokkan ain't dead, boys. Dokkan ain't dead. All right. And then... The, uh, there was a global announcement which explains exactly what I've talked about, but we do know that global will get version C at the beginning of 2022, which is not that far away if you think about it. So yeah, that is all I got for version Z as of now. This is, I think, part one. There's actually going to be another part in the future. Maybe they'll explain that uh, later down the line in a few weeks or maybe when after version Z initially releases. If you want to get notified on that, make sure you subscribe to my channel, of course, so you don't miss out on that update when that happens. And of course, uh, like today's video, all that good stuff. Check out my social medias linked in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.